hello guys so in this video we will be going to discuss how we can expose api hosted on on the aws lambda function without the need of api gateway so now aws lambda like aws has started to uh, way to create aws lambda function url so now you can directly expose those uh, uh, url and you use it as an api kind of you can use that in your like in any browser or from postman or you can integrate that in the uh, your front end as well so uh, let's quickly see how we can implement that so first i will going to create a new function so if you see like now in the advanced setting aws has provided a way to enable the function url so if i enable it uh, then it is kind of asking for like what is the authentication type you wanted to maintain so here is like like kind of two ways provided like the first one is using aws iem and second one is none so aws iem is like your request will be uh, kind of validated from the if the user has the proper iem access or not and if it is none it will be going to publicly accessible okay so first we will try with this none auth type but uh, after that we will going to test this aws iem as well okay so i will create a lambda function i will name it as test security none so that uh, like we got the idea like it has no security implemented and i will just going to create the default a, uh, like default configurations okay so let's wait i think it it will not take much time yeah that's done so now if you see like now we have a new kind of uh, like uh, console and here it is showing function url as well so if you see this the code we have is like it is kind of returning hello from the lambda function so i will copy this and try this in the new uh, sort of browser tab so it says hello from the lambda even i can test this from uh, this uh, postman as well okay so you don't need to think i think just keep the default setting and just click on the send button and it will to give you result okay that's done so now we will going to discuss how we can use this aws iem as well so i will going to create function i will test security as iem then after i will select python 3.11 then after in the advanced setting i will enable function url and this time i will select aws iem or type as aws iem so if i now i will create function okay yeah that's done so so if you see now function now now we have function url i will just going to change a little bit code so that we got the idea that correct function is executing hello from the lambda having iem security and if i save it and deploy it just okay here yeah, that's done now i will go to the new tab and then after if i hit it so it says you are forbidden so kind of we are getting access error so if i try it from the browser as well it is going to give me the same error message like you are you have been forbidden to access the same so the reason is correct we have not provided any credentials to the api right so now we will see how we can provide credentials okay so for providing it credentials what you need to do is firstly like you need to go in the, into the authorization section and then after you need to select aws signature and once you have selected the aws signature you need to provide the correct access key and secret key for the for, for like that access key should have access to this lambda function okay so we will create this access key let's see how we can create this so i will quickly jump over to the iem so kind of we need to create a new user and that user should have access to invoke this aws lambda function so uh, basically what we we will do i will first create a policy so I, if i select aws lambda we need to provide access to aws lambda action i just wanted to allow is like user can invoke the function from the invoke function url so we can provide this so so kind of it is asking like which arn so i will uh, like this account us uh, east 2 function name is uh, we already have this function name then security iam and then after i will click add arm okay 
so now we have this kind of uh, AWS IAM has added this uh, ARN for for the this lambda function and if I click on next so I think so I will name and name it as uh, uh, only C to invoke AWS lambda URL okay so I will copy it for the later use so now if you wanted to like pro, uh, like add any tag you can add add text as well just to manage it better I will create this policy and then after I quickly jump over to the user and uh, after that I will create a new user so user I will uh, say uh, lambda uh, user and we don't want to allow it to access the AWS management console so I will create on next then after I will going to attach policies directly and I will search for the policy that we have created in the previous step so I have yeah so now the user has been created successfully if I now we need to do is like we need to uh, require this security credentials for this user so I will create access keys so it is kind of used by a third party service I understand that they have a recommendation so tag value you can add if you want so I have this now now we have this access key so what we were going to do is we will go to the postman and kind of paste it here copy the secret key we will paste it here and in the advanced section we need to provide us is 2 and the service name is lambda so once this with this all is done so if i click on this send we get the response so now we have hosted uh, the complete i think application backend on the lambda without the need of api gateway but the there are certain disadvantage of using is this like in the api gateway by default have many functionalities like uh, so it is not kind of a not a replacement of the api gateway it is just like you don't want to create a, a api gateway for the testing purpose you don't want to get engaged in those complexities so if you simply want to just test your aws lambda you can test it using this uh, aws lambda function url okay so i think that's it if you have any queries or question you can post out in the comment if you have any feedback for me definitely i will be happy to incorporate that thank you please subscribe or like this video